Hi, I am Bree, and I'm Natalie, and we're going to tell you about aviation. Uh, we are going to show you around our classroom in just a moment, but I wanted to point out the fact that we go on plenty of field trips, a group of kids, people pick and such, not people, the teachers pick. Uh, we go to different areas. I don't even remember what airport that was. That's a small one. That's the small one that's closer to us, yeah. That's Kenosha. That is uh, right across from Steins. Steins Air Craft Services. Yes, Kenosha. Uh, we went to some other places, saw some pretty cool aircraft. So, Natalie, lead the way. We're going into the classroom. Hi, I'm Melanie, and I'm also a part of the Aviation Academy or pathway, besides the point. Uh, we have three levels. We have level one, which is general aviation. We have level two, which is, um, I forgot what it was called. Airframe. Yeah, airframe. And we have level three, which is the one I'm currently in, is a, pro yeah, it has a weird name to it, but it's a propulsion? Propulsion. Whatever, besides the point. So, those are the three classes that we have. Uh, general aviation, common sense. It's uh, your basic no uh, knowledge of aviation. Yeah. If you don't know what the fancy word of aviation is, it basically has to deal with anything that's aircrafts. Uh, level two, uh, you get to build um, a part of a wing of an airplane. Um, you also have to deal with, uh, it was fiberglass you get to make, or whatever. Um, and then level three, we actually get to work a lot surrounding drones and uh, what pilots pretty much have to keep knowledge of, like weather. Um. Here is the drone training area. You fly drones in there, do little tasks. Very cool, very cool. We use this when we're doing Skills USA and such. Uh, it's usually actually locked up but they'll have these actually spread around more. And for this one, your task would be to land on one of the platforms and then take off again and move to a different one. Do you want to show us one of the drones that we have in here? We, uh, yeah, I can. We have one of the drones that the Skill USA people supplied to us. We have a gizmo and an actual drone. The gizmo is a lot better than the actual drone, I'm gonna be honest. Let's see if I can pull this out. Let's come over here. This is the gizmo. Can you explain what it does? Yeah. Um, it is pretty much just kind of test flying the drone and trying to figure out the like controls of it. Like you want to make sure that you don't accidentally flip yourself when you're actually flying the drone and such. So you learn most controls by practicing with this. And then our actual drone, which we actually get to build. It's a pain in the butt, but you get to screw it all together, wire it all up, and such. Would you mind explaining a bit of skills? A bit of skills? I am not, I don't know a lot about skills, but that's what the cage is pretty much for. We take the drones to skills, and we'll perform tasks like um, set, and these tasks, as I mentioned before, do different things. This one is focused on landing. This one will actually have colored balls on it, and you will try to knock them off either with your drone or something that you attach to it. You don't want to just like ram into it because then you lose more points. You want to actually knock them off one by one. And then this one is, in my opinion, the most difficult. You have to fly up to each cup and pretty much find a photo. So you actually have to line up your camera inside the cup and then you have to go around it. All right. And here we have our simulators, or Darcy is messing with one now. Um, not the best simulators. I mean, there's better out there, but it gets the job done, you know? Got the foot pedals, the steering wheel. So, um, through the pathway programs, we have what's called the Youth Apprenticeship. 
Uh, so you can actually end up working for a company related to aviation and Delta Hawk is our aviation partner. Um, so they make airplane engines for general aviation aircraft and I actually work there and so part of my job is um, building airplane engines. The Biomed Pathway is a very hands-on science class. If you're interested in going to college for science, this is a great pathway for, for you. you. <laughs> Here's some of the hands-on projects that we do in class. This is us right here cutting open a sheep's heart. And this right here is us learning how to stop the bleeding. Using Ana Garcia, we learn how to analyze a crime scene. This is how we learn to use a micropipette. We love the biomedical pathway. And all the teachers that come with it. And, and you will too! <laughs>